Welcome everyone to another pirate history lesson with a bit of Sea of Thieves visuals to keep you all stimulated and excited. I don't know where I'm going with this. Hit the intro! Before we begin this video, I need to give a huge thank you to Captain Falcor, who from the goodness of his heart and unbeknownst to me, shared my last pirate history video with his viewer base and brought forward many amazing people to my channel that interacted and shared their opinions on the video. I cannot thank him enough and I highly recommend you check out his channel if you haven't heard of him yet and experience his insanity. It's quite good and concerning at times, but you can find his link down in the description below. But speaking of those viewers, I wanted to thank Mike C for his recommendation in my last video as he recommended me to cover the English pirate known as Calico Jack. Calico Jack was born in December of 1682 as John Reckham. He received the name Calico Jack due to his brightly colored Indian calico clothing he wore, and Jack being the nickname for John. Early in his life, he was a quartermaster on a sloop called Ranger, who was under the command of Charles Vane. Ranger operated mainly from the Republic of Pirates, which was the nomenclature for the New Providence Island of the Bahamas and would be the main operating base for privateers turned pirates from 1706 to 1718. During their time, Vane and his crew robbed and sunk many ships off the coast of New York City, until they encountered a French man-of-war. The ship was twice as large as Vane's ship and would immediately pursue him. Vane would retreat and use caution as his reasoning, but Jack Rackham would not approve of this and spoke out claiming that by capturing that man of war, they would have a much larger ship at their disposal and that it would be carrying plenty of riches. Both would argue on deck about the decision with Rackham having a majority of support from the crew, but Vane called his word final and they fled. On November 24, 1718, a vote would be held on the boat Ranger, with the crew branding Vane as a coward and removing him from his captaincy. Calico Jack would be voted in as the new captain of the ship. Vane and his fellow supporters were extradited from the ship and were given a sloop from the fleet and a good supply of goods and ammunition. Following his promotion as captain, Calico Jack and his crew would plunder many small vessels off the coast of the West Indies and took captive a couple of large ships off of Bermuda. In 1719, Calico Jack would sail into Nassau in the Bahamas and would capture a merchant ship called the Kingston, which had a rich cargo and was a big score for Rackham and his crew. Though, the Kingston was taken within sight of Port Royal, and many of the merchants were outraged and would hire an outfit bounty hunters to go after Rackham and his crew. The bounty hunters would catch up to Rackham in February 1719, while his ship and the Kingston were anchored at Isla de los Pinos off of Cuba. Rackham and his crew were not on the ships, and the bounty hunters captured both the Kingston and John Rackham's ship, while the whole time Rackham and his crew would hide in the woods and would escape capture as they watched their two ships being taken away from them. Based on the book by Captain Charles Johnson from 1722 called The General History of the Pirates, he described how Rackham and his men stole a sloop to evade capture by a Spanish warship. The story goes that while in the town of Cuba refitting their new sloop, a Spanish warship charged with patrolling the Cuban coast entered the harbor with a small English sloop they had recently captured. The Spanish warship would identify the pirates on shore, but due to the low tide, could not gain ground. Therefore, it lowered its anchor and parked in the harbor's entrance until morning. That night, Rackham and his crew would suddenly row to the captured English sloop under the cover of darkness and overpowered the Spanish guard. That morning, the Spanish warship would open fire on Rackham's ship, which was now empty, while Rackham and his crew would sail past the warship and the newly acquired English sloop. Rackham and his crew would sail to Nassau and appear before Governor Rogers asking to accept a royal pardon, claiming that Vane had forced him into piracy. Governor Rogers already had a disdain for Vane and believed them, accepting the pardon and living life as honest men. During this time, Rackham had met Anne Boney, who was the wife of John Boney, who was once a pirate but now lived as an advisor to Governor Rogers, providing feedback on his former mates. Jack and Anne would get very close and would petition for an annulment of Anne's marriage to John that was not accepted. Shortly after, Anne would get pregnant with Jack's child. Anne would head to Cuba to give birth. Upon her return, she had met a cross-dressing English woman named Mary Reed, who was also once a pirate. Jack's living as an honest man didn't last long, as he returned to piracy on August of 1720. Jack Rackham, 
and Bonnie, Mary Reed, along with a few disgruntled ex-pirates, would steal a vessel from the Nassau Harbor late at night and would take off breaking the pardon given by Governor Rogers. For a few months, the new crew would attack fishermen and poorly armed merchant ships off the waters of Jamaica and earned a reputation of ruthlessness, particularly Anne Bonnie and Mary Reed, who dressed, swore, and fought just as well, if not better, than their male counterparts. In late October 1720, Captain Jonathan Barnett had managed to hunt and corner Rackham's ship and a crew, and exchange cannon fire, leaving Rackham's ship disabled. According to stories, the men hid below deck, while Bonnie and Reed stayed above deck fighting off Barnett's assault. But in the end, the entire crew were captured and sent to Spanish town Jamaica awaiting trial. Rackham and his men were trialed and found guilty, and were hanged in Port Royal on November 18, 1720. Bonnie and Reed, on the other hand, were spared the noose as both women were pregnant at that time. Reed would soon after pass away in custody, and Bonnie's fate is still unknown. There is no record of her being released from prison or executed. Some speculate that she could have been released via ransom by her father and returned to her husband John Bonnie. And Bonnie would see Rackham one last time in prison prior to his death, and she would say to him, I'm sorry to see you here, but if you had fought like a man, you need not have hanged like a dog. <laughs> Rackham's body would be put in a gibbet and hung on display on a small island still known as Rackham's Cay. It was teased in the Pirates of the Caribbean film during the introduction of Jack Sparrow while docking his sinking boat in Port Royal. Rackham was far from a great pirate and his tenure as captain was marked more for his daring and bravery rather than pirating skills. But he was remembered primarily for his association with Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, who would become two fascinating historical female figures in a male-dominated environment. But that's a tale for another video. But Rackham did leave one last legacy which many will find surprising, and that was his flag. Pirates during this time made their own flags, which distinguished them. Rackham's flag was black and white, with a skull and two crossing swords, which you will immediately recognize as the Jolly Roger Pirate Flag, and THE Pirate Flag known worldwide. And just like Bartholomew Roberts in the last video, Charles Vane, John Rackham, along with Anne Bonny and Mary Reed, who was referred to as James Kidd, were all a part of the game franchise Assassin's Creed in their Black Flag title, and were heavily used throughout the game. John Rackham was even seen hung from a gibbet where your character could address him. This is the tale of Calico Jack, and I hope you all enjoyed the video and story of a not so famous pirate, but one that made way for other legendary pirates and a symbol symbolic to pirating itself. Thank you all for watching, and if you enjoyed, I ask you all to leave a like to the video and a sub to the channel. Remember to ding that little bell to keep in the know when I upload content, and feel free to share some pirates who you want me to cover, items you want me to clarify from the pirating world, or anything pirate related, and I'll see you about covering what I can. Thank you again to Mike C for the recommendation, and Captain Falcor for the fantastic shout out. And from me to you, make sure to heal, please heal, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.